Walker. So this was actually the first time that Apple's Tim Cook has talked about this case on camera. And for Cook, it's clear that this controversy represents a lot more than just giving the government access one time to one iPhone. Now, as you guys know, the government is demanding that Cook order his engineers to write new software that would bypass the security features of this iPhone. So Cook's points are really twofold. One, creating such software creates real risk. If hackers, cyber criminals, or foreign governments can steal that code, then it puts the security of millions of iPhones in jeopardy, he says. Second, it could set a bad precedent. If the government can force Apple to unlock a phone, then what's to stop it from ordering Apple or other other tech companies to intercept messages or track locations of their users. Cook also says that this whole case does make him and Apple deeply uncomfortable. Now, we are still waiting for Apple to formally respond to this court order, and that response is due by tomorrow. Hey, YouTube fans, I'm Landon Downey from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.